The Great Search brought to you by Adafruit and DigiKey. Lady to use her powers of engineering to show you where to find and how to find the part that you're looking for on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is a great search this week? Okay, well, let's go to the overhead. Um, so this week, uh, oh, so actually, look, can you show the photo? We went to Wait, which one? The, uh, the Botanical Gardens and uh, we celebrated pink and we thought we would um, take some photos with our nice pink PCB. I just want to show. I love to show, show these photos again, and this uh, inspired me today because you were asking, like, oh, you know, we have these pink PCBs on the overhead. Um, this is the pink KB twenty forty PCB with the custom pink solder mask from um, our PCB house. We use. Um, I know PCB way will do prototypes. One second, you can do it. Okay. Um, you can get uh, prototypes from PCB Way, but um, our PCB house, uh, we got these custom pink um, PCBs. Um, and you were like, oh, you know, can we change this green LED to be like pink or purple? Because, I, you know, it would look a lot better than just green, right? If you wanted to go with the uh, pink aesthetic, uh, which we do love here at Adafruit. And I thought, I was like an excuse to show how to get, um, you know, custom, like weird colored LEDs on DigiKey. And also a lot of people are always like, oh, there's so many LEDs on DigiKey. And it's like, I just want to like get it to a reasonable amount and then I can pick the color. And then how to use the, the nanometer selector also to determine what color you're going to get. So even though I didn't end up finding pink exactly, I did find something very close. So let's go to the computer. And uh, let's go to DigiKey. Okay, so what we're looking for is an indicator LED. Um, there's illumination LEDs and those are like really bright like white LEDs for backlights. Indicators are like what we you know you saw on that PCB. It's a little little light, uh, usually a 402 to 1206 size, um, you know, 20 to maybe 200 millicandela, just enough to indicate to a, a person that something is working or not working. Um, so we want discrete, which means individual, because there's um, ones that are in arrays and there's one that are like, you know, pilot light, like panel indicators. We want individual ones. And then I'm just going to show you how to pare it down because I particularly want pink, but I also was, I ended up not being able to find pink. So it's like, what was the closest thing I could get? Um, so there's a, there's a lot of LEDs and I know it can be very tough to find LEDs. So the first thing um, I'll do is I'm just going to look only for the active ones. It's a quick way of, of paring down about half of them because, you know, we don't want ones that are discontinued or unavailable. Um, there's also the configuration. So there's, some of these are dual color, like they're red and green, and you can turn on both to make them amber. So they're bi-directional or they have common anode or common cathode. If you see common anode or common cathode, that means it has to have more than one LED in it. Otherwise there wouldn't be a common to it. So what we want is independent, standard, and dash, which means like, okay, it didn't get categorized with, with that. So that'll... That'll maybe get rid of a couple thousand more. So we only want like an individual LED. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is I only want surface mount and I only want surface mount pointing up. So I'm going to just make sure that I've deselected all the through hole ones and that'll cut it down by half again. So you see, just you're cutting it down by half, half, half to get to where you could actually pick parts. Because now if you look, we're actually getting little surface mount LEDs. So it's, it's a lot closer. Um, so the next thing is, is that they do have color. Um, and so you can, you can pick out color here. Another thing you can do, because I, I'll note that some of these are a little, um, they're a little annoying because you're like, well, you know, what is green, yellow versus green? Like green and green, for example, green can mean two different things in LEDs. It can be um, like a yellowish green, um, which is, let me try to remember the, I don't know if they have the chemistry behind them, but there's like the INGAN and the um, IMP. I don't think they have the chemistry here. Oh, interesting. They don't, yep, yeah, they don't show you. But the, basically the chemistry by which they make the LED determines the, the color of the LED. Um, so some interesting colors, like pink particularly, there's, there's no such real thing as a pink LED. 
Uh, usually it's a white LED that's painted over with like a pink paint. And so the white shines through the pink and kind of lights up pink. You know, it's like a, it's like a painted light bulb. Um, so what you might want to do is, um, see so here, the, the lens color, is you might want to look at the wavelength peak or the dominant wavelength, either one. Actually, I'm going to deselect independent because I think I'm seeing that there's RGB LEDs here. So let me go back to this and I'm just going to click standard because I don't want, I don't want the multi LEDs. Okay, let me get a couple few. So, um, you know, blue, what does like blue mean versus like ice blue? This is where you might want to um, search by the wavelength. So, um, let's see, you can search for like nanometer, wavelength, maybe color. There's a whole bunch of, you know, there's like these, um, diagrams that'll show you the um, nanometer wavelength. So if you're looking for something reddish, um, you know, it's going to be uh, 740. And if you're looking for something like light yellowish, you're going to be like, actually, this isn't a very good diagram. Hold on. Let me find a better diagram. Ooh, this is a better diagram. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is, if you want something yellow, yellow greenish, it's going to be maybe like 570, but if you want like a deep greenish, it's going to be 525. So let's look at, for example, like ice blue, it's probably going to be like 470 or something, maybe 475. So let's go back here, because I was actually kind of curious about this ice blue color. Uh, where was I? There you go. Ice blue. So let's see what comes up when we search for ice blue. Wow, there's like one. So this is a discrete ice blue LED. It does look like it's a, you know, a white LED with like a, maybe a phosphor on top of it. And, oh, it doesn't have the dominant wavelength. Some of them, sometimes they don't, especially if it's, because um, it, it's a white LED and it's covered with a uh, fluorescent. So it's actually not a true single color. So let's actually look for like a purple. So purple or pink LED is going to be more towards, oh, sorry, uh, more towards like at the end here. So maybe like 425. You can see here it's like 435 or something. So let's look at, let's go back. And look at the filters and let's look at, there are so many options. Hold on, there you go. Pink and purple. Let's see what comes up. So yeah, there weren't a lot of options for pink and purple, and the and the the pink they do have, and but it's um it's unfortunately in this large uh, package, which it's not for me. I mean, like this will be a really beautiful pink LED because it's gonna have like this nice um, phosphored. Uh, it looks like it's probably a blue LED with a, like a pink orangish phosphor on top and the color mixes. Uh, so yeah, this one also won't have a dominant wavelength or peak because it's actually a mix of colors. Um, however, this purple LED actually looked pretty nice and it's fairly inexpensive. It's um, a marketplace, so it's from another uh, vendor. But this one does have, it's a single um, emitter LED. So this purple LED is a true like single wavelength color LED. Um, so you're gonna get 420 nanometers, which is, you know, over here past blue, or on this one, it's over here purple. And um, don't forget to also check the data sheet um, because the data sheet could also have some really good info. For example, it tells you, um, also just verify the wavelength. It also might tell you whether it's a, um, the material, so in Gen N, so it's, it's like they just push that blue uh, what would normally be a blue LED all the way into purple just by doping it. And then the lens is water clear. That means that the light itself is purple, um, not, you know, white painted over because that would be a different lens color. That would be like a, I think they would just call it like a, a milky white lens. Let's see what they call the pink one. 
Let's look at uh, this data sheet, which I didn't look at, so I'm curious. This one, they say it's pink. In again, in. Yeah, so this one, it's like they don't, they tell you the chromacity because I guess it's covered, but they don't tell you what it is originally. Oh, interesting, it's even binned. These are nice LEDs. Um, so for this one, it doesn't it doesn't again? You don't get a wavelength because it's 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 a white painted um, cover. It's not a clear um, lens. So in the end, I was like, if wow, this thing have a cool logo. Did you check out this logo? That's cool. That's Venkel. I wasn't expecting that. This is like uh, a company that Johnny Mnemonic gets his computers from. That is very futuristic. I know that's cool. Somebody definitely went to art. Venkel, never, school. never change, please. please never change. That, yeah, do do not. Do not. Re-brand. Don't get don't get normal. Do Stay, not rebrand. Keep it weird. Um, okay, so this, so I actually really like this one because I actually kind of like the idea of like a pure purple light coming from this 0603 LED. So I think I'm actually going to go, even though this one's pink, for it to work on my PCB because I need it to be 0603. I'm going to go with this one, the CTL. A 603 FPU. So I'm actually going to try to get a couple samples of this, put it on the pink PCB and see how it looks. It might look really good. And that is Great Church. <laughs>